Okay guys, welcome to another video. Today I've got a very exciting item, a very nice warm item that I'm holding in my hands to keep warm right now. And it is a curry drink. So starting in 2022, I guess it's a New Year's resolution or whatever, I've been trying to do more exercise, I guess, get out more, um, do more walking and things like that. So as part of my daily walking routine, I pass by, I don't know how many vending machines, but a number of them. And I'm always looking for this drink. I've seen it a few times, but it's always been sold out. And uh, actually, I don't know if you remember, a few weeks ago, I did a video with Ronan Dave down in Aokigahara. Um, we went to a vending machine, a bank of vending machines. And to be honest, this is what I was looking for when we went there, but they didn't have it. So we ended up getting three other items. Today, I was just on my way to McDonald's to do a follow-up video. As I mentioned in a previous video, they had more items there. And I was passing by a station and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna check one more time here at this station because if any place they refill the machines more often, it would probably be at the station there. And I found it. So today we're gonna try the curry drink. And as you can see from the container, usually when they show this shape of uh, decanter, I guess you would call it, some sort of vessel, it has a sort of Indian vibe to it. So I'm expecting it to be more of an Indian curry as opposed to a Japanese curry. And right here it says it has 10 kinds of spices and it is medium, medium spiciness. So there's gonna be a little bit of heat up here it also says that they recommend that you can drink it, I guess. You wouldn't be eating it. You'd be drinking it with some bread. I assume they mean some naan. But yeah, this is nice, <laughs> nice and warm. And I, I like that it's in this little uh, can. It's made out of steel, it says here. But it has a twist lid so that you can drink it in sips and close it up and then you can keep your hands warm. Now, I'm not walking today. I'm in the car, but it... You know, it's like about six degrees out right now, so it's still cool. But let's crack this open. I have a, I have a cup with me, which is something I wouldn't have had if I, when I was walking. So I guess it worked out for us. Uh, here we go. And did I, did I shake that? Just a sec. Let me, let me make sure. Woo! It, it almost seemed like it got warmer when I shook it. Maybe there was heat in the middle that made it to the edges. But yeah, let's crack this open. Okay, so hey, that's what the lid looks like inside. And so, ooh, it has a kind of, I wouldn't say burnt, but a, a cooked smell to it. I don't know, it's different. I, I was expecting like a boom of like, wow, this is curry, but it kind of, it does have curry, but it's also, I don't know. I don't know. What, 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 what? Okay, well, the smell could just be throwing me off. It's, it's, it's like if you mixed curry with a hot chocolate kind of thing, but like, like there's no chocolate in it at all. It's just curry. But okay, well, let me, let me throw it in this cup here so we can see what it looks like. So yeah, it's smooth. There are no chunks, which I guess is a good thing. And uh, that's what we're looking at. It's like, I got a cup of gravy here. Well, it's curry, but... Okay, <laughs> here we go, down the hatch. Uh, itadakimasu, I guess? Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking curry. I don't know, it's almost too smooth. I know I complain there are no chunks, but it's just a really smooth curry. It's it's not as spicy as I thought it was going to be, mm, but it does have a sort of Indian taste. It's got some Indian type spices as opposed to Japanese. But yeah, <laughs> I'm drinking curry. I could see how you would could dip bread into this and eat it. I'm not sure you'd want to get like a bowl of rice and just pour this onto it and eat it though. However, you know, that that could work, I guess. I've actually been getting a number of comments from what I can assume to be people in India 
asking me to do more Indian stuff. So I guess in a way, this is for you. The last time I did a big sort of Indian feed was when we hit 20,000. I don't know if some of you remember. We went to an Indian restaurant. I brought, you know, Kenya and Sarah and JD, all my friends that had been in my videos. And we spent 20,000 yen, which is about $200 for 20,000 subscribers at this uh, restaurant. So I'll leave a link to that. If you guys haven't seen it, you can go check it out. So this is definitely something you would see it. You'd be like, hey, I want to drink that. I mean, it looks it looks very inviting. Do you not agree? Um, you'd be wanting to try that. At least I was. You try it once and then you're like, you know, that that was a good experience, but I don't need to try it anymore. I mean, it's not bad. It's just you're drinking curry. I, know, I don't know how many times I got to say that in this video, but you're drinking curry. So let me know down below if you think that drinking curry <laughs> is something you would want to do. You don't like, uh, what, coffee? You don't like hot chocolate or whatever other hot teas. Hopefully you can find some curry. If you're in Japan and you've tried this, I know some of you have, let me know what you thought about it. If you thought it was good or more, more specifically, if you would go back for a second. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. I'm just sitting here drinking curry. <laughs> so thanks for watching everybody. Usually I don't know what I'm gonna be getting for tomorrow's video, but since I am on my way to McDonald's right now, there's a little hint for you. I kind of have an idea of what I wanna get. So uh, hopefully you guys will tune in tomorrow and I'll be enjoying something from Ronald. So I guess see you tomorrow.